Hi, I'm Ben Hanawal, Product Specialist here at Atlas Copco, and today we're going to be talking about the Power Focus 6000. Let's take a look down in the software. Today we're going to be talking about the Power Focus 6000 soft PLC program. Now this portion of the training is actually just going to be a familiarization with the soft PLC, with what it does, and some different ways that we can think about using it. This is not meant to be a detailed training on how to use multiprog or any of the additional features. This is really just meant for familiarization with the system as I said. So, the soft PLC programming is only going to be accomplished through the Tools Talk 2 software. Now that we're in the Tools Talk 2 software, what we're going to do is we're going to come over to this Field Bus and Soft PLC tab. From here, we're actually going to come over to the Soft PLC tab, and we're going to see a couple of different things in here. There's a lot of different buttons to click, and it's important to understand what we're looking at. So. The project name, this is actually going to be just the PLC name, the PLC configuration. Settings for turning it on or off. Right now you can see my soft PLC is turned off. Keep in mind, the soft PLC is a licensed feature. So if you do not have a license on your controller, then you're not going to see this tab. When you click on the soft PLC tab, it'll actually say this feature is not licensed. Down at the bottom, we have our soft PLC signal configurations and this is really just basic configurations that we're going to have set up that's going to show us all the different configurations we can modify in the soft PLC. So there's a lot of different I.O. points that are going to be used here and it's important for us to you know remember that not all of these need to be used this is just what we're going to use in the soft PLC programming. Next tab up we're going to have actually our soft PLC virtual station configuration mapping. So if we have multiple virtual stations, we can actually create a PLC configuration for each of those virtual stations. So you can have separate signals for each virtual station if that's something that you want. We also up at the top, this is kind of our project menu. So from here, this is the important part. If we want to create a new project, we would hit the create new button. And if we make changes, we're also going to want to save those changes here and it's going to build the project in the background and you can kind of see that in the background it's actually accessing multiprog which is going on right here and it's actually going to be building the settings in the background because i have my plc off it failed to build but you got to remember that if we make changes in the background that's actually what it's going to show up as and it'll give you this little message over on the right hand side it'll kind of tell you what it's doing and you know where it's at in terms of the soft plc settings so if we actually step over into the multiprog so if you don't know what a soft plc is essentially it's on the power focus 6000 we're hosting a local PLC and the nice part about this is for simple IO manipulation we have the ability to use the Power Focus 6000 without any additional hardware and kind of modify different IO points. So here's a good example of you know ways that we can use IO points. So external monitor 1 for virtual station 1. This could be a wired in let's just use an example and say a clutch prox. So you have a clutch on an arm and when that clutch is made, it's going to turn this on. When that turns on and we have the trigger pressed on the tool, we're going to flash the tool green LED. So that, that would be an example of how we could use this. Some other examples, we can manipulate the external identifiers. So we can actually come in and change external identifiers. So we can just kind of type in different variables and we can actually do all sorts of different things. We can take event codes and we can translate event codes and display them in different ways. We can actually take identifiers that are passed through from field bus or scanners and we can actually transition those so that one scanner can drive all six tools. So this is just kind of a generic overview. This is not something that would be a basic level Power Focus 6000 functionality. This is a very advanced tool that can be used and modified. Very few customers actually use this software itself. Typically these are used in application center projects as well as having field service come out and assist with the installation. So just keep that in mind. That's what the soft PLC is. That's where the tab is located. 
And that's kind of just a general overview of how it can be used on the Power Focus 6000. So I hope that this has been helpful for you. If you do have any additional questions, please feel free to contact your Atlas Copco marketing team and we can try and get you some answers.